Tarry, we're already a few sessions into the training camp here in Ireland. How have things gone? Yeah, they've been good. Um, I think everyone's looking well, training well. Um, obviously, travelled yesterday, so just had like sort of a lighter session yesterday. But today was a bit more tougher, longer, and yeah, lads are looking good. Have you sensed things have been cranked up a notch compared to the recent couple of weeks? Um, well, the last couple of weeks have been really tough, a lot of running, a lot of um, hard work, but I think that's good. I mean, first couple of weeks, get, get the, the miles in the legs and that, and everyone's getting up to speed and stuff, especially with the games, getting a touch of the ball again. But yeah, I feel like last couple of weeks have set, up, set us up nicely. What did you make of the facilities out here in Cork? Yeah, lovely. I mean, you can't ask for much more, nice pitches, nice place to stay, food's good quiet hotel so yes yeah, been, been good how in, how important is it to have those good facilities to aid recovery and to aid your, your time here obviously everyone wants to be like 100 percent or close as close to 100 percent as possible when they're training and the facilities are very important and obviously access to bikes and gym stuff foam rollers stretching pools so yeah i think very nice facilities from past experiences, how important a time is this to, to get yourself into peak physical condition come the start of the season? Yeah, I mean, pre-season is a massive thing for any footballer. I mean, you ask anyone and they'd agree. I mean, pre-season is where you get your base fitness up and sets you in good, puts you in a good place for the season. So if you miss it, I mean, it's tough to actually get that fitness in. But to get a big pre-season in and a full pre-season without missing any sessions is really important. I suppose as well from the tactical side of things it's important as well. We've already seen quite a bit of work on the training pitches and that. Respect. Yeah, I mean, obviously the gaffer's got a way of playing and for the new boys coming in, they, they will obviously have to get used to it. But for a lot of us, it's just a refresh, just to remind us of what he wants and where we need to be, the players in certain positions. So it's definitely important for all of us. And away from the pitch, how important is it to, to get to know new teammates or some of the younger players that with within the group? Yeah, it's always important. I mean, as a team that we're going to be together for eight, nine months, you know what I mean? You've got to get to know each other on a personal level, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. I mean, all the new boys are class, get on really well with all of them, and I think everyone does, so yeah, it's nice for them to, to see them settle in. What do you make of the current makeup of the group? It's got a good blend to it? Yeah, a good blend. I mean, there's a lot of young players, a lot of young, hungry players, athletes, and I think we've all got the same goal in our heads, but we just obviously got to work towards that, and it's not going to be sprint, it'll take time. Obviously, everyone, we've got a few new boys and players been out alone, so everyone's got a gel and, and this is what pre-season's for. You mentioned new boys there. We've had five come through the door so far. One that you know very well in Josh. How good is it to, to see him and link up with him again? Yeah, it's nice to have Josh here. I played with him when I was at Shrewsbury and when I joined there, he was like really welcoming and helped me settle in and that. And yeah, we've always just kept in contact. Obviously, he went to Reading, I came back to Stoke and we've always just kept in contact, but it's nice to have him here now. Having played alongside him before, what will he bring to the team, do you feel? I bring energy, passion, I've got a lot of quality as well. I mean, he's a strong midfielder. He can carry the ball up the pitch, defend. There's a lot that he can do, so I think the fans will be really happy to see him on the pitch. And like the rest of the lads, he seems to have settled in quite well. Yeah, I mean, he's a great character, good guy. Yeah, he's easy to get on with, so, I mean, a lot of all the new boys are like that, so when they're like that, it's easy to get to know them and easy to like for them to settle in and become part of the group. And for you personally, how are you feeling at the moment fitness-wise? Yeah, I feel good. I mean, it's my first pre-season in a while and I mean, it's something that was needed. I mean, we spoke about me, the gaffer, the physio team, sports science, and pre-season was a massive thing for me. So to be able to get that and not miss any training or any days where I'm feeling anything, it's important and I'm feeling really good. Towards the end of last season, you had a little procedure. Was that something that was to be expected given the nature of the injury that you had? Um, yeah, well, obviously, when I had it put, when I had it done, I had like a little anchor put in, and just to like help the cartilage to grow and to hold the meniscus in place to heal. And well, obviously, it all healed, and that, and as I'm building back the muscle, it just lifted a little bit, so it was flicking against my muscle, which was causing a little bit of like irritation and. So that sort of just an annoying pain. So I just literally it was a little small procedure, and then yeah, just to get that out. And now I'm feeling 100 percent, and just looking forward to crack on. Do you feel as though it was holding you back a little bit? Um, if you would have asked me at the time, no. But looking back now, with a lot of stuff I would I did, I would feel it. But I just like obviously chose to ignore it because I didn't really want to be making up any excuses. So, but yeah, it was like quite annoying to have. But I'm just glad it's out now. In the off-season, I think you did a bit of work as well. Has that helped you to hit the ground running so far? Yeah, um, I mean, 
I had big, this is a big season for me. Um, I want to help the team. I want to be playing every game. And last season, I didn't have enough football, so I need to be doing everything I can to be one of the first names on the team sheet. And that meant working hard off in the off season. And like, I got my holidays, but I was still working while I was there. So I was I was happy to do that. You know what I mean? Football's my job, so I've got to dedicate myself to it. I suppose this season compared to last, you'll, you'll get a full pre-season, that's so important. Yeah, of course. I mean, as I said earlier, pre seasons a massive thing for any footballer just to build them up and get that base of fitness and obviously get the minutes in the game, pre-season games, and then you hit the ground running, start the first game and you feel good instead of coming back in September missing the pre-season. It's hard, you know what I mean? So from a fitness aspect, it's massive. So, yeah. How much are you looking forward to this coming season? Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I'm buzzing. Um, obviously, first full season since I was been injured, so I'm just looking forward to get back in, on, get back on the pitch and seeing all the fans. Is there a sense of maybe making up for lost time? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I was happy to obviously get through last season like, relatively injury free without having any issues with my knee, and now obviously it's time for me to show what I can do and get back to the level I was playing at and even higher. In terms of the team, do you feel as though you can make a real sustained push for the, the top six this time around? Yeah, 100%. I mean, you look around the team, we've got quality in all the positions and it's just about us finding the right, obviously, the right system and then the right intensity and got to find that consistency as well in the league. I mean, we're more than capable of doing it. Like, all the players have got great quality. They wouldn't be here if they didn't. So, I mean, we've got definitely got a good chance. Just got to stay focused on our, what, we, what we do and be consistent.